But you know, God gives you a promise, but you still got to fight for it. Yes. Now Joshua tells each of the tribes to send out some men, and you find the portion of land that God has promised you, and then you identify that land and come back, and the prophet Joshua is going to bless that land. Amen. But when you understand <laughs> that the spiritual headquarters is Shiloh, uh -huh. which represents the church of God today. Yes. Once you go out to get your blessing, you got to make sure you come back to the church so that the prophet can bless your blessing. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You can't go out yourself. Yes. Even though you go out and find a better job. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You might get a better car. Yes. You might get a more expensive house. Yes. Hallelujah. But if you're left away from Shiloh, yes. it don't mean a thing because sooner or later, the devil is going to take it away from you. So I thank God that I found my place in Shiloh. Hallelujah. And if I stay in Shiloh, I'll look at take Shiloh with him. Hallelujah. Don't make a mistake, church. Don't make a mistake and leave away from where God placed you. Don't leave away from the spirituality of the kingdom of God that he has given you and revealed to you. Once you make up your mind that you're going to follow God according to the word of God. Hallelujah. You like her, your feet. And no devil will come to change you. No devil's going to trick you. No devil's going to change your mind. Hallelujah. When you make up your mind that you're going to follow this thing, your mind ought to be made up. It's not based on circumstances of life. The Bible said tests and trials of life won't come. And nothing you can do about it. But I'd rather go through the fire with Jesus than go through it without him. Hallelujah. Well, what escape of a God? Hallelujah. I know I got an escape if I'm with Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I'll make it to the next trial. And each trial that comes, I get stronger and stronger. Hallelujah. Because I know I got my feet planted. I got my mind made up. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stay in the holiness church. I'm going to stay in the Judge the 18th chapter. Amen. Let me connect Glory. this. Hallelujah. Right from verse 30. Amen. And the children of Dan set up the graven image. I shared with you Preach, in times past mm -hmm. that when you examine the 144,000 of the 12 tribes, Preach. there's a tribe missing. And that tribe is Dan. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was replaced by another tribe to make out the numerical equation of the 12 tribes. Yes. But what I want you to understand, Dan is erased and the tribe is erased because yes. of leadership. Yes. Once you leave away from the true leader who teaches you the oracles of God, Amen. then you can't find your way to the promised land. Right. Even though the promise is to you and to your children forever, right. nevertheless, if you leave away from the covenant of God, then the promised land is not for you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm trying to let you know it's not what you accomplish in this life. It's what you accomplish with Christ Jesus that counts. Make up your mind today and understand what I'm saying. You've got to stay in the righteousness church of God or otherwise all of your labor is in vain. Those of you in the Baptist and the Methodist and the Catholic, all that foolishness. And I know it's foolishness because you don't know the God that you serve. You try to make up three gods when you don't need but one. Hallelujah. Why are you going to serve three gods? Hallelujah. Don't you know one is enough if you use the right one? And three ain't enough if they're the wrong one. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Yes, Lord. You got to follow the truth of God's word. You got to realize where you're at in Christ Jesus. Let a man examine himself whether he's in the faith. If you're in the wrong faith, humble yourself. Hallelujah. Make up your mind that it's not right. How did you go to a church where the sisters don't have a head cut? Where the sisters don't have a dress on? Where the sisters got their face painted? Hallelujah. You criticize the church about having white robes. Amen. But you got your sartreuse dress. Yeah. You got your polka dotted dress. Yeah. You got your red dress and your orange dress. Yeah. You got this color and that color dress. Yeah. Hallelujah, what are you doing? We're all supposed to speak the same thing and be at one accord. Some trying to outdress the other. One want to be flashier than the other one. One earring is longer than the other one. One diamond ring is bigger than the other one. How long that is vanity and God cast away vanity. You need to get rid of vanity because vanity goes with pride and with pride is a phony. Hallelujah. Praise God. Make up your mind where you at in Christ Jesus. Take Shiloh with you. Hallelujah. Wherever you go. Praise God. Judges 18, right from verse 30. And the children of Dan set up the graven image. And, Joshua and the children of Dan mm -hmm. did what Joshua told them to do. 
But they went to a land, and instead of taking the Hebrew God with them, they decided to make an idol. Or rather, they wanted to worship the idol that was already made in that heathen land. See, when you leave away from God, you better make sure that you leave away from God with the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then you really don't never leave away from God no matter where you go. But I'm trying to let you know that, praise God, in these various complexes of God's vineyard. You don't have no church now that's defending the righteousness truth. You've got churches, but they're not churches of God. Many pay their tithes and sing in the choir, but their work is in vain. Hallelujah. You don't even know the name of the God that you serve. Hallelujah. I'm trying to let you know you don't even know, even know nothing about the holiness standard. God got the holiness standard for a reason. Holiness measures the individual's character. If the character is below the standard, then it's got to come up. And that's why the dispensation of grace and mercy is here. And that's why God sent the Latter-day Prophet to try to bring you up to the level where you can be accepted in the sight of God. If you don't want to hear the message of the prophet, then you can't be saved. Because you can't save yourself against the word of God, the priest, the word of God, the booze and preaching that saves the lost soul. That they might come in out of darkness into the mind of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Read verse 30 again. And the children of Dan sat up the grave of Hammond, mm -hmm. and Jonathan, the son of Gershom, the son of Manasseh, he and his sons were priests of the tribe of Dan until the day of the captivity of yes. the land. And they set them up Micah's grave of Hammond. Micah made a graven image. Mm -hmm. He was a half backslidden priest. Yeah. But he went to this land of Laish, and they paid him to be a priest. Yes. And when the children of Dan found him, they said, well, we're going to pay you more money. And you're going to be a priest to us. Right. And Micah had this golden image. Amen. And they decided to call the golden image Jehovah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you can't name no golden image right. after God. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, praise be the Lord. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And when he came to humanity, hallelujah, he came as the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. But the Lord Jesus Christ is back up in glory now. Yeah. So he's got his spirit. But you yeah. can't take the spirit and put it in an idol. You can't take the spirit and put it in no candle. You can't take the spirit and put it in no dead woman. Hallelujah. I'm trying to let you know they left away from Shiloh. And what they failed to do was to take Shiloh with them. They left away from God. And they didn't take God with them. Praise be to God. Amen, You've got to stay in holiness, church. You can't be influenced Amen. by these T.D. Jakes Amen. and these Creflo Dollars. Amen. Praise the Lord. And all these hypocrite preachers Amen. that are preaching for vain glory and for money. Amen. Hallelujah. God ain't never, they ain't never told nobody I'll make you rich. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not rich in material things. Amen. It's rich in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. As long as you stay in the spirit, you got everything that you need. Amen. But you got to understand this through the spirit of God. Praise God. Give me John, third chapter. Hallelujah. Jump right into verse 12. We've got to understand that messages come across and they have to be interpreted spiritually. Church, you cannot sit in the carnal and apply the spirituality of God or you'll never grow in Christ Jesus. And this is why you see false churches blossoming. Amen. But the true church of God is Preach, slowly, slowly fulfilling the prophecy yes. that in the latter days they would depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Yes. You see all kind of churches springing up now. Mm -hmm. New churches springing up with, with a different type of ideology, right. a different type of uh, religious theology. My goodness, what's wrong with the original word of God right. that the prophets preach? Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Read, daughter. If I have told you earthly things, if I've told you earthly things, and you believe not, and you don't believe them, yes. how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? What's the sense of me telling you about heaven yes. if you can't follow God on earth? Amen. If you don't follow God on earth, you can't go to the heavenly kingdom. That's right. Amen. So you have to make up your mind that you're going to renew your mind and think on spiritual things and be able to interpret spiritual values for yourself. I'm trying to let you know, brothers and sisters, we're in a critical time now. Amen. I told you months ago about the bank failures. Amen. Now the country of America is taking tax people's money Amen. that really they don't have enough of and trying to bail out Wall Street. Amen. But under the capitalist society, whatever you invest is a gamble. Yeah. 